we have the right ingredients, and that's why we're going to be able to do this, and why we've been able to do what we've done up to this point. And those ingredients include, in some ways, things that uh, we benefited from just because of geography. You know, we're positioned midway in the state with 19 million people uh, with a short throw into the harbor, just over three miles, uh, with, you know, deeper water because we're dredging as we speak, a wider port because we're widening as we speak, uh, and that's just an incredible benefit that we have. We also have, uh, in the human realm, uh, a very talented, innovative uh, staff and commission that work well together, and that's part of the reason that we're, we're here today to make this big announcement. Uh, and most importantly, with today's contract signing, we have the newest and I think the, the best ingredient and that's a great partner for the future and some people that will uh, will make us that much more successful. They have an incredible history and of success, expansion, and growth, and will be invaluable partners. Cargo jobs, and that's what you're gonna hear about today, are good jobs. They're well-paying jobs, and the value of this partnership will be felt for decades to come in this region. Our CEO, John Walsh, will provide more details during this announcement uh, and his remarks. But first, let me welcome our distinguished guests that are here with us today. On the front row, Vice Chairman Jerry Allender. Please stand. Secretary <laughs> Treasurer, Frank Sullivan. and Commissioner Hank Evans. And Commissioner Bruce Deardoff had a conflict to not be with us today. But representing our congressional delegation who have been immensely important with the Corps of Engineers and our projects to deepen and widen and make this port all it can be, we have representatives uh, from the office of Congressman John Micah. Leslie O'Shaughnessy is here. Leslie, thank you. From Senator Bill Nelson's office, Barbara Arthur. Barbara, thank you. And our regards to the Senator for his recent help on the war legislation as well. We got so much from, from our, our delegation. And then Thomas Self. Is Thomas here? Thomas, welcome from Senator Rubio's office. And also attending today's session is our own the more local of the mayors, the mayor of the city that's immediately adjacent to us, Cape Canaveral, Rocky Randalls. <laughs> Let me now introduce our Chief Executive Officer, John Walsh. Ladies and gentlemen, commissioners, business leaders, and honored guests. Today we're also joined by Fran um, Basic with Merad, and, and Fran has been a, uh, a friend of the port for some time and is helping us with our East Coast Marine Highway and, and large project. And Fran, we appreciate you coming. Um, Rich Bider from FDOT was scheduled to be here today, but had a family emergency and had to cancel, and he, he sends his, his wishes and his partnership. Rich uh, Bider has been instrumental in Florida Seaport's expansion and freight logistics growth. Uh, and has really carried out the plan of our governor on CNC Port. So today we celebrate a new beginning here, a project known as Project Pelican that has really been in the works for, I guess, over a year now in the process. A new partnership based on mutual respect, commitment to hard work and serving our mutual customers in changing and highly competitive global marketplace and global supply chain. We have a shared philosophy with this company for providing outstanding value to our customers, a world strategic view of shipping and logistics, and we both bring something to the table that we feel together is a little more and stronger than each of us individually. Port Canaveral is strategically positioned to serve a growing Central Florida market, a growing state of Florida, 
and our intent is to reach up into that southeast manufacturing belt and into the traditional heartland markets for distribution and logistics. Rail will be an important part of that. From here, we're well positioned to reach well in through the Caribbean islands, Latin America, South America, over to Africa, and to pick up the global trade routes to Northern Europe, into the Middle East, into Asia, whether it be the Suez Canal or going through the new Biden Panama Canal. Our organizations are mutually committed to high productivity, prudent use of technology, motivating employees who are highly trained, and the values of strong and loyal business relationships. Today we sign more than a lease or an operating agreement. Today we introduce a new partner who is committed to this port and this region and sharing our ideals and our business opportunities. Today it is my honor to introduce you to GT USA, a new Florida venture by a leading international container terminal operating company, Gulf Container. This company will bring a new high standard in terminal operations to Florida. As Florida seeks to expand its global position and supply chains, this will happen right here in Port Canaveral. In business and in life, we're often reminded that we're known by the company that we keep. Proven business leaders like Jack Welch at GE constantly preach about aligning yourself with good, strong companies who are top performers in the industry. Port Canaveral has done just that. We could have started a container terminal from scratch and taken 20 years to slowly get there. Instead, we partnered with a proven leader in world container handling. Their outstanding relationships, their proven foundation for reliable and dependable service to the world's largest shipping companies, now can be repeated right here in Central Florida. A lot of hard work remains, and this is a beginning, but we are equally committed to rolling up our sleeves and working hand in hand to make this project a success. To grow this port, create the needed logistics models and jobs here in Brevard County and Central Florida, we realize the strong value of a proven leader, and that's the advantage of partnering with GTUSA. Coupled with our current new bursts, the cranes, the terminal construction, the channel deepening, widening already underway, add in new rail connections, deepening to eventually 55 feet, and Florida's strong growth our shared future is bright and prosperous. In the past year, we've had the pleasure to meet Peter Richards and Peter Ford and their talented and hardworking team, and we're quite impressed by all of them. These are quality people with a proven industry track record, values that align with the values of this board. They are tough negotiators, but always fair, honorable, and professional. Today, I'm glad to get them on our same side of the table instead of being on the other side of the table. We're excited to welcome our new partners to a new business home here in Brevard County. That terminal will be completed in the coming months. Their shareholder and company principals have joined us today, and it is sincerely great pleasure to introduce you to GT USA and Gulf Tainer, its founding organization. We want to welcome Peter Richards, Peter Ford, and Bader Jaffa. All your associates that are here today. Now it is great pleasure that I introduce you to Mr. Bader Jaffa, the Vice Chairman of Gulf Tainer. Bader, thank you for your willingness to invest in Port Canaveral and this region. We hope it's one of your best investments ever. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bader Jaffa, an accomplished and successful global businessman, and the Vice Chairman of Gulf Tainer. Thank you very much, John, for that very warm welcome. Um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, it's a great honor and a great pleasure to be here today in, in Canaveral. Um, and honestly, thank you very much for, for overwhelming hospitality which has not just made today possible but also uh, a great pleasure. 
so thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, throughout history, the sea has played an, an enormous part in the expansion of global trade. From ancient Egyptians importing spices to Africa to the first European discovery of the American continent in the late 15th century. Today, and despite the rapid development of air and land transportation, over 90% of world trade is still carried by sea. In the US, seaports are responsible for moving 99.4% of the country's overseas cargo by weight. So simply put, without shipping, the import and export of goods necessary for the advancement of our modern world would simply not be possible. Now thanks to the ever-increasing efficiency of shipping and the continued expansion of world markets, the prospects for the industry's continued growth remains very robust. Since the invention of the modern day's shipping container by Malcolm McLean in 1955, in fact, just a few states north of here, North Carolina, container terminals have brought markets even closer. And fast forward 60 years, and container ships now carry over 60% of the total global value of goods shipped by sea. They've enhanced business growth by reducing time, increasing volumes, and creating huge economies of scale. The opportunities for growth that oceanic trade brings to businesses and nations alike is perfectly reflected in today's agreement between GTUSA and Port Canaveral. From Gulftainer's inception almost 40 years ago, it became quickly apparent that strong business values and operational dependability were the key pillars on which our industry thrives. Adopting this ethos, Gulftainer successfully grown as a family business from its home in the UAE to operating ports and logistics facilities across five continents. Now jumping back to the early 1970s when containerization was still in its infancy, Gulftainer started its journey by launching the first ever container terminal in the Middle East, the Sharjah Container Terminal in the UAE. And this was an early indication of Gulftainer's visionary approach. Since then, we've expanded our port operations globally to handling over 6 million TEUs per year, which is the largest in the world for a privately held port operator. Over the next six years, we aim to be operating across 35 terminals and handling more than 18 million TEUs per year by 2020. And this should make us one of the world's top five cargo operators. Today recognizes a very important step for us, bringing these years of experience and expertise to our partnership with Port Canaveral. Our long-standing relationship with global shipping lines has made Gulftainer a name synonymous with efficiency, productivity, and commitment. These companies know us, they trust us, and they follow us. Our goal here in Florida is to develop a long-standing partnership with the Port Authority, resulting in Port Canaveral becoming firmly recognized as the gateway port of choice for cargo to central Florida and the southern hinterland of the USA. We strongly believe that the new cargo terminal will be a game changer for both Port Canaveral and for Gulf Tainer. With an expected investment of up to $100 million in the introduction of Gulf Tainer's existing client portfolio, expectations are to increase the cargo flowing through the port to 700,000 TEUs per year. The opportunities of the Panama Canal expansion schedule for next year also make this an incredibly exciting and opportune time for this collaboration. Canaveral's trade is expected to grow further as the port makes headway towards the, extent, the expansion and the extension of a proposed railway network service. And this will connect Port Canaveral to the rest of the East Coast, Midwest, and even the West Coast, boosting cargo operations and greatly contributing to the local economy. And Gulf Tainer is determined to play an integral role in helping to turn these blueprints into reality. Now this venture is more than just a momentum, a momentous build, a business uh, milestone for Gulf Tainer. It's also a great source of pride that we're able to contribute to the local economy, creating new opportunities and careers to the residents of this community. As well as developing an efficient and convenient gateway for goods entering and leaving Florida, our mission is to invest in the infrastructure, processes, and the people that join our efforts. 
100% of GTUSA's permanent staff at Canaveral will be Florida residents who will provide all the necessary, we will provide all the necessary training to develop their skill sets for a variety of roles and responsibilities within the company. As one of the most respected and innovative ports in the country, Port Canaveral is a natural partner for Gulf Tainer, as together we seek to constantly deliver more sustainable value to all of our stakeholders. We have a common purpose in our ambition, in our professionalism, and in our dedication to shared value at the core of our operations. We're an ideal fit in an industry which increasingly expects reliability of operations and the ethics underpinning our business practices. Ladies and gentlemen, as one of America's busiest cruise terminals, Port Canaveral is the pride of Florida. It lives up to its reputation as the nation's port for inner and outer space, as referred to by Senator Spessar Holland in his port dedication address in November 1953. And we are confident that this announcement today will mark the next phase in our collective future. Thank you again. <laughs> Occasion. And I want to say, uh, or just relay a special thanks to a couple people that are here. One who I all know is, is here today. He's with the UAA, UAA Trade and Commercial Office. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, the batter, just, uh, just a tremendous uh, comment of appreciation to you, your team, and I thought of a motto that we used some years ago. Uh, and it was uh, about politics at that time, but it goes like this, together we can, together we will. Thank you.